So this is what the dream feels like. This is the victory we longed for. Welcome to the Hour of Power, where everything anime is neither on or off the table. Come listen as Old Top walks and talks while Mr. Pie talks and walks. Now, here are your hosts, schooling you on all that is anime, manga, and the cosmos. Young Mr. Pie and Old Top. Don't you cry no more. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Don't uh, you cry no more. You know, uh, <laughs> you know, Mr. Power, whenever our Patreon gets approved, I don't know what the hell is happening, but uh, uh, one of the tiers, uh, depending on how much, <laughs> uh, depending on the tier and if uh, our patrons uh, accept it, you, you got to sing them a custom song. <laughs> <laughs> I put that uh, in the list. Like, uh, like hear the hear the soothing sounds of Mr. Pie. My, my what? Uh, that that's one of the uh, rewards. Let, <laughs> let Mr. Pie either put you to sleep with his soothing voice, or get you hyped <laughs> as fuck. <laughs> Hey, like, what? They can choose which one they want to prefer. Like, you want to soothe Mr. Pie, or you want to hear Mr. Pie come up with a maybe original rap? That's a part of the tier. And now they 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 get to specify if it, it's anime based, if it's pie based, if it's edgy pie-ing based. based. <laughs> like, yeah, man. Uh, that, that's just just so you all know. That's what's coming on our Patreon if they approve it. Uh, I don't know what the hell they doing. Patreon back there. tripping right now. Patreon mm-hmm. tripping right now. In any case, uh, but, yeah. ca- is there any is there any way to do this podcast without Shit. essentially getting emotional and crying? Shit! <laughs> hey, what? Like, like, hey, Japan Six Twenty Twenty. Our, our full review, full review, and thoughts on it. Um, man, Mr. Pie, I, I want to let you start on it. What, uh, man, my what, what, thoughts on what, it. What are your ultimate thoughts on, uh, on, on, on Japan Six 2020? Because <sighs> I, I thought this anime was just, yeah. Man, um, so all right, let me dip my, let me dip my toe or anime penis in it. <laughs> but, <laughs> but, but, be but, careful, Mr. Pie. This ain't uh. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. This is, this is more of a family uh, oriented. Yeah, like I know. Uh, I just, um, I just thought I'd get episode. out some. I just thought I'd get out some laughs before I cry. Man, what? If you, if you will, old top. But okay. Ah, but I'm okay. Um, my thoughts on Japan since 2020. Man, um, what a roller coaster of emotions. Yeah. Man, it made you feel so many things. At so many times, with so many people dying, and you never thought you would feel these things because at first the anime starts off a certain way. Can you give um, us a one-minute synopsis or uh, backstory as to what what what's happening with it? Okay, um, like okay, so so like you know, there's an earthquake. Okay. Um, there's an earthquake, and people sort of. And people just sort of think, like, okay, this is a regular earthquake, no big deal. But then there's another earthquake Man, what? and another earthquake, and it turns out, and it turns out that these earthquakes are coming, and they're coming because because the plates under under the ocean have shifted. Oh, yeah. So, so that means Japan is sinking. Right. Not only that, um, the threat of Mount Fuji is, uh, is uh, and it erupting. Yeah, uh, Mount Fuji. Is, is, is a huge thing, and that's uh, and that's sort of like you know playing the long game because people said, oh well, like Mount Fuji will never erupt because if it erupts, Japan sinks. Right. Um, by far, this this anime was gave you true perspective as to uh, keep everyday 
as a gift and reward because they they didn't hold back from the first five minutes. Yeah, they, they initiated the uh, earthquakes uh, in a matter of minutes within the story. And I thought, and I and I haven't confirmed what you called it, but I call it personally the boom effect. Yeah, like, yeah, um, yeah. Because one thing happens, and then, and then okay, a couple of minutes later, boom, another thing happens. Oh yeah. Well, well, more so uh, in the beginning, it's like uh, boom, you, you hit. You're right like, with all it. right. Uh, you, and you, so, and so, like when that first scene happens, um, like you know, Ayumu, which her, is which is like the main one. Well, one of the main like, characters, like um, one of the main um characters in this anime, Ayumu is in her locker room. Getting dressed with their other gym mates, and then all of a sudden, boom! An earthquake happens. Right. And um, everybody, and everybody dies, besides Ayumo. So, like at first, that sort of catches your attention. Like, all right, all right, like all right, so this is gonna happen. People are gonna die. Right. You. That's, that's a great point. You. You but, automatically know. Uh, from that first scene, that people are going to die. But the next death really hits you. Because what? the next death is like, oh, shit gets real. What next death? There were several. Like, yeah, like, like, yeah, like the next death. And this is probably the most impactful or one of the most impactful deaths to me is when Koichiro, um, Ayumu's father, died. Okay, so let, let me give some context to that. So basically, uh, the mother and the father. The mother is Cambodian, right? Um, Mori is Cambodian, or uh, oh, it was a Cambodian or something else. I'm pretty sure it's Cambodian. Uh, no, she was from Thailand. Was she? Oh, yeah. she she wasn't Japanese, basically. Like, uh, yeah, and she that, wasn't reflected. She wasn't it, it, Japanese. It was she was from Thailand, or uh, I want. I keep. Why do I keep saying Cambodia? Or um, it's it may be one other place. She was not from Japanese. You could clearly see it. She had a darker tan. Uh, yeah, which was which was fine uh, and great actually because you you're diversifying the story. I love that. Um, and you had the uh, father Koichiro, who in which they both yeah you, you they, could okay. So it, during these situations, and I'm talking to the people out there, the millions of people who listen to the us, millions when, and, and and the millions, baby. What when, when shit mm. hits the fans, you got two options. Yeah, you can either fight or flight. You can either fight or fly, basically. And in this case, you clearly saw two parents that refused to give in to the situation. Yeah. Just refused. And that was so beautiful. Like, Man, yeah, that, like that was so inspiring. You, you had uh, Ayumi. Um, is it Ayumi or Ayumo? Ayuma. Ayumo. Okay. Um, she clearly uh, uh, was like the alarmist. Like, yeah. what, what, and rightfully so. She's a teen. She hasn't been through anything. She's she's like just yeah, reacting. She was like yeah, this earthquake dude disrupted her normal parent life. Right. And and see and see like witness something very traumatic. Oh yeah, that was just and totally unexpected. Uh, it, it's like right now, if if something, if a tree was to fall on it, uh, on our house, and uh, you know, Mister, I'm seeing Mister Power underneath the tree. It's like. Oh, what am I gonna do? What am I gonna? It's like just, yeah, like it's there's... literally just like that, and like, there's no chance of saving me. Right. Well, uh, right. Uh, in, in that case, uh, there was no. I mean, they they and had the, you... they had that first small earthquake, then they had the bigger one, which was just the real one. Man, yeah. it was a wrap. Um. So 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 to give more context to uh getting up to Mister Pie's point, as far as like the most impactful death or one of the most impactful deaths. Um, Koichiro, uh, yeah, clearly just an inspiring, strong. I got to keep my kids happy and yeah, funny, yeah. and keep their mind yeah, positive like, in a like, sense. Yeah, like and I gotta constantly keep myself motivated because like, if they see me scared, if they see me being fearful, oh yeah, oh yeah, panicking, that's gonna throw them into a panic frenzy. Oh yeah, in fact, Maury, uh, the the mother. I said that later on in the story, but um, like, yeah. but but by far, you 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 what they're oh, so just to give a uh, I guess a quick overview. Yeah, they're they're at this point. Um, Ayumi, it, it starts with Ayumi. Yeah, uh, Ayumo, I guess. 
Uh, she she sees her uh, classmates literally killed, murdered. While one was she did a weak move though. Like, yeah. uh, instead of helping her classmate get un- from under some lockers, yeah. she just ran and let her die. I I was like, man, like what's yeah, wrong with you girl, like yeah, um, um, but um, yeah, but when people are put in certain situations, of course it's easy to say, well, do this. That, and, but, like, and that's you know, and that's you, and that's sort of why this. This anime was more geared towards the concept of fight or flight, uh, for my opinion, because that's what they honed in on, uh, mm. and 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 that's literally the what what it would be like if there was something like this to happen. Yeah, um, it's, it's fight or flight. Are you gonna get focused and uh, step up, or are you step gonna... up, or are you gonna just flee and give into the situation? There yeah, was se- the in fact they kept saying that during out throughout the series. Um, uh, throughout the episodes, she was like, "Why aren't you crying, mother? You know, our father just died. This was post uh, that event, but yeah. le- leading up to it, it still was instances where she would stop and cry, or just yeah, like uh, when she had a moment when Mari had a had a moment by herself, like you know, she stopped for a second and just sort of let her emotions, um, like you know, take control because another character." Um, past this point, Daniel, and they were in like a safe location. Um, son, do, do we want to give a complete overview, right quick, of the story, and, and then t- uh, tell our thoughts, or 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 uh, just go section by section? Well, we're here. We might as well just let it flow. I I, I think we should just give a quick overview. So basically, um, uh, you have you come across all these characters in specific, yeah. Uh, to to them surviving basically, you, you, you okay? So you uh, to, again to to give an overview, and we totally recommend watching this anime currently on Netflix. Yeah, um, <clears throat> it's like ten episodes. Basically, you have Koichiro Mori and the family. Uh, it's it's mostly about Ayumo. Uh, and her journey. There's this beautiful little boy, better known as Go, which is yeah, that, Go. Man, that's one of the coldest names ever. Man, they, they named him Go, and um, the, and his name and his name literally means Go, as in never stop. Right, right. That's, that uh, ties into spo- another. Spoiler, spoiler alert. Uh, at the end, he becomes a, a world champion Olympian. Uh, him and right, like yeah, like him, him, him and his sister Ayumo. Are, are um, both athletes, or, like, or yeah. at least he becomes an athlete. Like, yeah, um, um, yeah, like, most importantly, this ties into the beginning, and also plays with the long game, but in the beginning, he said that he wanted to become an eSports competitor, yep. Yep. and at the end, he was an e- eSports competitor, right. representing Japan. Absolutely. Um uh, but I remember him training in the water and such. Like yeah, um, like yeah, um, like yeah, like and that, and that's another throwback um, to the beginning because at the end he not only was training in the water but he also had his eyebrow pierced. And in the beginning, Koichiro told Go, "Ha, you're Japanese. Like you need to learn how to be. Um, you need, you need, to, learn like, you need to, to learn how to swim to be cool." Right, or or more so to survive because they're surrounded like, yeah. by so much water. Like yeah, like to survive. Japan, Japan is an island for the most part. Like uh, yeah, uh, if you look at it, it, I mean, we're you can say that any country is an island because or part of uh, any continent is an island, but for the most part, uh, Japan is like a like a really like a tiny little island, uh, uh, given you know given the uh, size to other continents and such. Uh, yeah. As well as well as the the total capacity of Asia, um, in any case, um, and they 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 come up to the story. They're they're fighting for survival. They're deciding things. They get with groups. They decide which way they want to go. It, it's 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 a it's a whole kit and caboodle as like, far yeah. as what 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 it's gonna take to survive now that everything is sort of settled. Um, um and yeah, to sort of sum up at, how this story is. Um, um, like the format, the structure of um, Japan Sinks 2020, I would say, like, you know, I would sort of liken it to The Walking Dead without the zombies. Because, oh, yeah. Because you're, like, gaining fellow travelers as you go on your journey to this place, and you grow to love these characters, but you're also 
moves these characters out of win. Oh yeah, it, like, it, it 100 percent resembles uh, that, that. That you cannot make a better point than that. It it definitely likens itself to The Walking Dead. If you if you and Walking Dead at one point was the number one show. Yeah. If, if you like Walking so, Dead and and the struggles and the journey. Yeah. Uh, uh, in mm-hmm. which the the receding and declining Earth. Is the zombies in a sense because that's what you're trying to survive? You you love Japan Sinks 2020. That is a great point, Mister Pie. Yeah, um, um, because when I watched Japan Sinks um, 2020, I just had this constant feeling of hope, but also dread. Oh yeah, because I know, um, because I knew because of Koichi, because of Koichiro's death. Oh yeah, nobody Un- untimely death. In fact, like, yeah, like his untimely death. It was so sudden. It was like. Oh, yeah, so, one so, thing, so basically it. what Mr. Pyrus is saying, um, uh, saying is that probably a, uh, about a quarter of, I think that was second episode, maybe. Like, yep, the second uh, episode. Se- second episode, Koichiro, spoiler mm-hmm. alert, uh, Ko- uh, a lot of the characters die. Yeah. Um, and, yeah, we did a, if, if, if you guys haven't seen it and don't want to be spoiled, we did a pre- uh, pre spoiler podcast. A, a pre spoiler podcast. Uh, it was like episode uh, 10 or something. Yeah. Uh, look for that on our channel. You can go directly to our YouTube uh, channel through as4anime.com. Soon we'll have that site up where you can, you can literally view the podcast from there as well as uh, link to our Spotify and, and Google podcast, which is turning into YouTube music. Um, uh, and, and all of our links, basically. But yeah, if you guys don't want to be spoiled by it, uh, you you can check out that podcast. Mm-hmm. This anime was that good, I uh, yeah, and, and that and offered that much perspective. But Koichiro dies because he's looking for old yams. Uh, land. He, he's looking for uh, sweet potatoes or yams, yeah, yams, yams. But uh, you know, and and again, this goes back to his his not only leadership as a father but uh the fact that he's trying to keep up beat and give his family options to eat um, yeah. cuz at that point they had found a warhog warhog was charging them and they killed him and ate him fresh. Uh, yeah ate him ate him ate him fresh put all him by that, the fire all that, all that good keto Barbara, carner, like carnivore. barbecue ooh, like all that fat man all, all that, that on the for grill. straight man <laughs> like, man, like brother you we appreciate you we we appreciate you uh and you 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 gonna meet your timely death, untimely death. Yourself, You'll give but, us nourishment. But you will so give we... us nourishment, uh, one hundred percent. In any case, when they wanted something else, something sweet, his father is all for it because he wants to constantly maintain yeah, this this this, uh, this upbeat. This right. Up, they, they don't want to. Man. They don't want to uh, get into the situation just yet. Like yeah, they don't want to fall fall into chaos, even though they see like graphic images of oh, yeah. people. Of of um like dead bodies, oh, yeah. stores being what, looted. Think think Katrina. It, that was the same thing, uh, in a sense. Um, they they faced a tsunami, um, a, 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 a tsunami, a tsunami. Um, and it has and, been a while since we watched tsunami. Man, I swear they they faced Katrina faced the tsunami, or uh, basically New Orleans was underground for the longest, uh, underwater for the longest, and you've seen people with floating bodies and such. Um, uh, you know, so imagine that, but yeah, uh, Koichiro is, is digging for yams, come across a landmine. First yep. thing he says, no way. Boom. boom. And that's it. He's gone. Oh man. Sad and as hell. His, and his hand just, his and hand then just, his, just flew like, over, hand flew over by, just his, was, it, was it his wife or, uh, it came by Maury, right? His, yeah. His wife. Yeah. Like, oh man, that, oh. that was so uh traumatic man it's ridiculous like yeah um, so 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 uh moving on for, so so basically the story goes like that yeah uh it, it's up and, and it's I, a roller coaster there there it, are moments where um you you have upbeat uh, moments you, and that's reflected by the music and then you have these like sort of like all right, these dreadful situations like you don't know what's gonna happen oh yeah you you one hundred percent have moments of clarity. Uh, mm-hmm. Moments of uh, upbeatness and hope in those but, heroic and, moments, and those but, heroic moments um, th- throughout the story, where, where they have to, each sto- each scene is um, damn near uh, a moment where you have to choose what you're going to do, and, and in the course of the uh, anime, 
uh, some of the biggest takeaways was uh, uh, the fact that uh, you you have to be fight or flight. That w- that was the yeah. biggest takeaway. Um, yeah, f- and and they ex- just explored this. What would you guys do um, if your world was rocked completely yeah. and you literally have to live by your wits ends? Yeah, and and also um, like and also and like also like what would you do um, like if you weren't held accountable um, by our law system? If you weren't going to be put in jail? Yep. Like, that, that's you, an interesting point. They come across a traveler who knew like, she yep, knew Ayomi, right? I, Ayomi. Yeah, like Nanami um, knew Ayumo from high school. So when they were picked up by a hitchhiker, um, like this hitchhiker was like, "Oh, we can do whatever we want now." Right. You gotta we enjoy can, yourself. Like you gotta enjoy yourself. And he was drinking while driving, throwing the bottles out of the windows because he gave zero fucks. Right, what? It was pretty much... It. And and they explored that in The Walking Dead as well. It's like, once you become a lawless state, um, uh, you, you enter a lawless existence, you know, in some <laughs> cases, the true person, your true person comes... comes yeah, like your forefront. morality comes forth. Uh, your code of well, mor- yeah, you, whatever, you, whatever it's been... Like, whatever been conceptual, you believe. Whatever you've been conceptualizing of... How the world yeah, like, works, uh, how the world should work, uh, you, you start living that life. Um, yeah, like edged. whatever you really feel inside, despite how, like, you know, law is. Right. Like, however you feel inside will will, will come forth. Absolutely. Because, because like, Nanami, um, Ayumu's friend, was about to get raped by this dude. Yeah, once that once they got picked up, basically, uh, they yeah. um they um like they drop um they stopped at a gas station to fill up on gas. I forget the and character. Old boy. Well, 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 he was, right. So we we just explained old boy's mentality. Um, but I forget his name. But in any case, he's he's a side character that he picks up. Um, at this point, uh, Mori and. Uh, Ayumo and Go, they're they're basically traveling. And they get and there's some other characters with them as well, uh, that that are pivotal to the story. But it's basically about them three, and they're they're going. They're they, you know it's it's survival at this point, trying to get to a point where we can ban as a collection and decide that. And that's always the case. Like if something wants to happen to us, like today, let's just say there was a huge explosion in and and affected all of our community, all of our blocks and such. The first thing we would do is try to a uh, try to take we we take um uh what what am I trying to say we we take we shelter down no uh, we we take inventory oh, as to okay well, is yeah. everybody cool then you start seeing who's in your immediate vicinity uh, are they okay are they gone and then essentially you try to start gathering with more people as to figure out what what do we do as a collective next yeah that's, that's just human nature it seems yeah um yeah like and then sort of create sort of like a makeshift community oh yeah one well said absolutely you try you, to you're essentially making a new makeshift community that that try to create this, some try to create some stability and chaos right and 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 what's been best known to do that is groups of people so you can have more minds thinking about it, it it's just funny how that's the only the case when um, you know, tragedy sparks or something like that happens. It's just funny how that happens. Yeah, because I think... Uh, while we take on that mentality then. Um, um, because I think when, when like, global stuff like that happens, most of us drops our bias. Yep. Like, some of us drop our bias and we're just, like, in a flight, of, in a flight or fight mode where, okay, we either got to stick together or we're going to die. Oh yeah! In fact, uh, who said that? It wasn't Bill Murray. What's that man's name? It's one of those guys who was featured on uh, the Barbershop, uh, LeBron James Barbershop uh, episode on HBO. He was like, "You want to bring the human race together? Give us a global threat. Give us the fact that aliens do exist and they're potentially threatening us." Man, that would be one world in a sense, or more so. Um, there, there would be no more nothing. It, it's all about survival at this point that surviving brings people together somehow um uh for the most part you know of course they they explored that in the walking dead yeah. but um 
but but yeah so at, at this point it's like they, they get in the car i uh what's her name who was about to get raped oh like nanami ninami i'm like nanami <laughs> what are you saying if it's a nanami or a ninami or what is it? i'm like nah nami nanami you sure like yeah <laughs> yeah like just sort of think of it as like no name with a high. Man, I, I, we we maybe we got to slow. We watch so much anime and and watch so many stories and such and read so much manga that I, I have a hard time. And plus, I'm working twelve hours a day, damn near, and then another six hours uh, editing and such. I came having a hard time remembering the names of some of the stuff we go through. Maybe we have to slow down a bit. But in any case, Nanami, I'm gonna give it to you, Nanami. That don't sound right, but. Uh, I, I guess it is. Nanami, she's a she's a side character, just uh, great and uh, positive. But she knows martial arts. Like yes, yeah, she knows kickboxing, I believe. And in, in any case, uh, she was about to get raped by old boy pick, who had picked up Mori, uh, Ayumo, and Go, uh, and the other characters that was with them. Uh, and essentially, you know, you, you're just trying to get to a point where you can, like we described, you're trying to get to a point where you can get to a mass gathering. Which we'll which we'll talk about, and then essentially move from there and start coordinating from there. Um, oh, girl's about to get raped, and uh, she wasn't going basically. Like, yeah, she wasn't going. But did then, she kill him? She didn't kill. Like, him. Like, nah, she didn't kill him, but she left a good impression on him. Oh yeah, they, she they, gave him. She gave him that good old man that uh that axe <laughs> kick. She gave him a, a, a would be axe kick. To find a, to uh, to finish him off in a sense, Cause but he, um, because he punched Maury when she tried to help. Yeah, and and she, um, and, and, and um, he grabbed Nanami by her hair and threw her into a window and put her to the ground. And he started. he was welling on her, but uh, uh, true enough, uh, that martial arts kicked in. Uh, uh, yeah, and, and ultimately they they disabled him. Uh, Maury, with her help, uh, tased him with Man. his taser. He was about to use on her. Yeah, uh, and bro's a bitch basically. Uh, yeah, just, yeah. just a weak ass coward, man. Uh, for I I I liken that to anyone who does that type of stuff, man. Um, you know, just start going into this lawless mindset, and I'm gonna do whatever the hell I want to. You got. Bro, you got no honor, no discipline. Like, yeah. Uh, in any case, um, they get past him, and the journey be, be, uh, continues. Um, I don't, I don't want to give all the story away, Mister Pie, but basically, um, this anime, by far, uh, is is one of the greatest examples of uh, would you say a dystopian, uh, or, or or just a traumatic event where uh, you have to choose fight or flight. Yeah. Um, uh, um, the, like the, yeah, like it's definitely a flight or fight anime. Um, it's it's depressing as hell most times, but then there's sort of like rays of light. There is rays oh. of light, and and some of the soundtrack reflected. Like, like yes. in, in the beginning, when when uh, Ayomi is running to find her parents. Like uh, yeah, to, like you know, there's an upbeat sort of yeah. Like, that, I'm trying man, to that's, find that's my the soundtrack is killing it. There's there's select songs in there that is just. Uh, absolutely amazing, but yeah, in, in certain instances, the the music reflect the mood, the the mood, like absolutely. the mood in the situation and the situation. One hundred, as she's going running, oh, you like you can't, know, you, it, the 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 scene is saying basically, you can reach your parents, you can survive this. That's that's what the music, uh, as well as the scene reflects, and and that's a beautiful thing. That that's one of the reasons I would uh, uh I would I would employ people to try. Uh, or not try actually watch this anime, even though it is like yeah, in, like in some even... cases depression, uh, depressing to see all that death. Uh, let let's let's expound on that a little bit more. Then I want to go into the villain was right. All right, so uh, <laughs> we we cannot go. Okay, so so far you, you we and we don't want to give it all away. Uh, ultimately, it's a great anime. Yeah, uh, it's a bit. It can be a bit sad because it does hinge on the idea that a full body country damn near goes completely underwater it, yeah. it it's just no avoiding uh what this anime is but we would be remiss if we did not talk about one particular character by far the superhero of the character i was born lucky Ooh. man this this I, and this is why if if you ever wanted if you ever had I, okay, so I liken 
what I'm about to say to Cowboy Bebop, I haven't met one person, not one, uh, that wouldn't mind a a remake of that anime, pretty much using the same people, but not kill off Spike and and essentially stop the story. I haven't met one person, uh, and maybe they'll do that in live action. Uh, no, nah, you, you, they wouldn't do that. Not in a live action. Well, you, you'd have to, you yeah. have to remake the anime. But I haven't met one person uh, that wouldn't mind seeing a full remake and continuing Spike story on. Because man, that anime was masterful from top to bottom. But I liken this next character to something similar because he was by far the most shining light of the anime and to me the the greatest example Ooh. one of the greatest examples out of all anime I've ever seen who takes the fight or flight approach even better than Senku from Dr. Stone I ain't, well I said one of the better Senku is obviously number 1 cuz uh obviously but he in a sense resembles Senku when you say yeah, um, yeah, because kite, young kite, um, I'm young kite. Say it with conviction, old top kite, kite, which means what? Uh, a device that flies. Yeah, basically, in a sense, or a plastic fun toy that flies. Anyway, you yeah, you pretty much uh, you pr- you pretty much imply flight with that with that. Yeah, and clearly. Man, this man was so was so awesome. It's ridiculous. Like, yeah, Kite proves the point. He proves the point that knowledge is, is by pow- far the most powerful thing you can obtain. By Be- far, because because in this flight or fight situation where everything is sort of getting destroyed, he was the damn superhero. Man, easily. To, to give the content, store. to give content, and this is just so befitting. He was a he was Japan's number one YouTuber. Yeah, Kite had his own brand, but but he would just film these uh, instances of realism uh, and showcase them uh, on, on his on his YouTube channel. Yep, and Kite would like travel around the world, um, doing stuff, just gathering knowledge. Man, yes, Kite by far. Uh, Again, it was one of the greatest examples I've seen of, of fight or flight and in a sense of showcasing knowledge is power. Just to give you guys, oh, excuse me, context in a certain scene. When Inami, Ninami died, Ninami does die, even after she showcases all this martial arts yeah. prowess, she can show, she showed that she can hold her on yeah. against um, uh, threats. Yeah, um, like, and she was also sort of geared up to be like second in man yep she yeah um, absolutely Jamari. uh but it shows what happens in a sense and i want to research this actually but when there is a a tectonic shift or a plate shift like yeah. in a sense um you know even even here in memphis we have this all the time we've had this happen like, like yeah like we're wh- like structured under a fault line so if we have an earthquake like yeah, it'll be tough to survive. Like, and, and and the thing is, we've had like similar instances in which Nanami gets killed by natural gas. Uh, an overwhelming of natural gas to us as humans could instantly kill us like that. In fact, they explored that in um Doctor uh, Stone, Doctor Stone as well. Um, because when, natural gas is poisonous. Oh is, yeah, is um poisonous. It has to sort of be filtered out. I, it definitely has to be diluted. Uh and and the thing is, um, that has happened here. Like um, they've cut holes in our street uh, to let that stuff filter out and not build up too much. That well, that's just one of the reasons they did it. And and essentially, they they warn us like, look, you you guys may want to consider. Um, I mean, it, it, I, I, and I, and we don't never question it. But um, that is ha- that has literally happened in several instances in Memphis where. Uh, the natural gas is too thick, and you just walk out like, "What the hell is that? That's the gas, man! I, nobody don't smoke." We be saying, "Nobody don't smoke. Nobody light a fire," because who knows what could happen. But yeah. it, but in any case, um, that's what happens to Nanami. But the thing is, when it was about to happen to uh, Ayumo, Flight was the first one. He was yelling. He, he just so happened to be flying around filming. Hey, don't go down there! Don't yeah, go down like there! Don't. N- the natural gas. Uh, we'll kill you. And sure enough, she was about to follow Nanami because they they were about to 
uh, basically go to the uh, bathroom or make a bathroom so they can use it. Um, and I know me just fell, fell out, gone. Like, yep, just like that. Gone, just like that. And so, that's another point to how to how characters can die so quickly. Oh yeah, in here, like in fact, I, I like in that instance of them dying instantly, more so to a Game of Thrones theme as a, as opposed to. Um, to the Walking Dead, yeah, because at, at least with the Walking Dead, there was for most characters there was a, a bit of a story, a longer story, and then all right, they meet their end. But um, Walking Dead, I mean um, Game of Thrones, that stuff was indiscriminate. Uh, there was certain characters just had a, a a few scenes that you just expect not to die. Yeah, uh, and then they then they die just like that. Um, Ned Stark, just like Ned Stark, absolutely just died. Out of nowhere, and 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 I like that guy. Uh, he played in um, Narcos. Uh, I forget the character, the real, and he also played in Equalizer Two. He was like the he was like the martial arts about to take on uh, Thorn, the the giant. Oh, the mountain. Yeah, him and his wife were swingers. Um, the mountain. Yeah, and 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 the, and the thing is, uh, he. Uh, he was like, say her name. He was he was beating him, and he was and he was fighting him with a spear. He was fighting him with a spear. Had all this talent. My toy, we, we was, you know, we're into martial arts, so I was naturally gravitating towards this guy, and 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 and, and all of a sudden, but no, it's true enough. There's no character lord. There was no character lord to in that story. So sure enough, boom, that's it. He killed. He got killed. Wife was totally unexpected it um, because he's so talented and so skilled, but he's gone. You know, so I like in that. Uh, Japan sinks 2020 to sort of like that in a sense, um, but yeah, kite saves the day countless times, mm. um, and it's because he's using his knowledge. Even uh, just to go further into giving you guys a little bit more of the story, who has who haven't seen it, they run into this old man who who's a store owner. Yeah, and uh, I forget his name, but uh, he he basically. Uh, thinks they're stealing from him uh, by entering his store and gathering resources. But in actuality, they were going to pay him. But he didn't know that, so he starts shooting arrows at him from a cliff. And one arrow so happens to catch one, Go. One, one arrow hit, hit Go, who is the most, one of the most humbling, one of the most kindest. And that's really, for me, what makes it sad, in a sense. Like, you, you can't see Go die. Oh. You just cannot see him die, man. He has to survive. Look, Go is just so innocent. Man, I, I get teary eyed almost thinking about it. I mean, he's just so innocent. Even when Koichiro died, he was still saying, Dad, protect us. Yeah. You know, man, that stuff was, oh boy, that ah. stuff was so heartwarming. But, and thankfully, he didn't die. Uh, yeah. So that was a glimmer of hope. But in, in this case scenario, Kite, we didn't know. Um, um, but like, we, we didn't know if he was going to survive or not. Because, right. right. Because based off of what we saw with Koichiro, oh, yeah. you know, anybody's fair game. Anybody's fair game, 100%. So he got an arrow shot into him. It was like, oh. Right. Oh. And, uh, but, but, Kite even, but Kite, even before the arrow was shot in him, was telling him. He was him, like, all right, get supplies. We need to. Oh, oh. We, we need to. We need to remove this arrow as quick as we can. Oh, yeah. He, he, was at the, he was at the forefront of. of, of fixing him basically if if he was going to be hurt he was like all right everybody calm down just get supplies we're gonna we're gonna uh make sure he, he doesn't die basically but even before then he was telling him he's shooting from the cliff over here find cover uh um, like yeah uh so he was the leader and i mean yeah the, the man was just so awesome yeah. and, and then there's a scene in, in which we refuse to spoil it when at, at the end when, when, when Kite had to save him yet again. And the thing is, they left it on a slight cliffhanger. We don't know if Kite is truly dead. You, you can assume it because he went too far in the atmosphere with, with the kite. Um, that uh, you, We don't know if he's dead or not. Yeah, he made a kite to sort of, to sort of propel himself in the air to give the others a Yumo... Go and Dr. Onagera. We didn't even mention Dr. Onagera, who who predicted all this stuff, basically. Like, yeah. Uh, yeah, Kite sacrificed himself to create a Wi-Fi hotspot. Yep, brilliant. Because, because air balloons, hot air balloons in some countries are used for Wi-Fi hotspots. Well said, Mr. Pye. Absolutely. Uh, so, and, and, the, and the thing is, he did this, like, and they thought... 
he was like abandoning him or something for some reason. Like, yeah. Uh, it, the story just gets really good when Kite is introduced. I mean, it just, that's the glimmer of hope, truly. Yeah. Uh, that, that by far, at about halfway of the uh, movie or the uh, anime, I, I'd say about uh, probably episode four, maybe, I think. Yeah. Th- three or four, Kite is introduced, and that is your glimmer of hope because he is showing you that a person with knowledge. Is to be preserved and to be at the forefront because Brad had so much knowledge on damn near everything they were encountering, constantly showing them like, all right, this is what we need to do. Um, also, this is what's occurring. The the uh, he could put you could put a ball. He put a, a ball on the floor and yeah. it just started rolling. Like, yeah, like and it started rolling, and from there he tell he could tell them because he knew from watching that ball sort of move until. That the earth yep. was moving. Yep. Or, or, or more the, so the land uh, was truly like, yeah. sinking on the ground. So it's like, man, all right. So Flight is fully aware of this. He he, by far was the glimmer of hope. Um, you knew they had a chance to survive as long as he was with them. Yeah. <coughs> and and um, for those of you who don't watch anime or, or, or like who's not going to watch this, but watch MacGyver. Man, um, oh kite, yeah, that's great. Um, kite is MacGyver, the anime MacGyver times infinity. Time, oh, I don't know about that, Mr. Because MacGyver, man, he could make uh, <laughs> he could make a car out of a string and some. Uh, I mean, that's super old school. I mean, I don't even remember Give most of those kite episodes. That same string, <laughs> but, but kite, kite, but kite was one hundred percent a MacGyver in a sense, and that's that's that was the whole basis behind MacGyver. He just knew so much uh, and had such survival instinct and could get out of sticky situations. 100% Kite is, uh, is is along those lines, the anime version of MacGyver. Um, in fact, I'm, I'm going to post that as that as well, because that's that's uh, that's sort of what it was. We should um, make a meme. <laughs> hey, what? Um, in any case, um, the anime is worth seeing. Yeah. It, it, it is. It, it's an emotional roller coaster, uh, and you have to invest your emotions in it, in a sense. Like, yeah, because... You, I you will, in fact. because Like, yeah, because Mayasaki, the director of it, he plays the long game um, with this sort of tying elements from, from like, early episodes to the ending. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he does. And so, and so, like, when you watch that ending, you're Give like... Give him an instance of that, though. Okay, um, like, okay, so, like, there's an instance where Murray... Um, saves this boy who's sort of having trouble swimming. Oh yeah, and so and that's in like first episode. Yep. Um. 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 Yep. That's in the first episode, and so they meet each other again as they're crossing um roads. Right. As his father, um, is taking him somewhere with other travelers. Right. And they sort of meet up, and see um and see takes his picture. With her family. Right. And so it's like, okay. And in the end, doesn't... In, 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 like in the end, there's a boy who's reading this book, and he takes out this picture, and this picture says, you've made my day. And that's the same boy. Yeah. The, the same little boy. He made it. Like, yeah. And, and so, so, like... In a sense, it's anime, just to play the spoiler again... If you guys don't want to see this, uh, go with. I mean, you, you've made it this far. You pretty much know yeah. everything that happens. But in the end, uh, you are rewarded. Uh, like yeah, like you I, are. We can reward- we can just go ahead and tell you, you are rewarded for um, uh, the depression that is going through a society that's been literally and physically torn down. Like you, yeah. you, you are rewarded in the end with with certain scenes and. Uh, certain, your, in a sense, your hope is appreciated and and more so rewarded. Uh, in certain cases, um, not in all yeah. cases, not in all cases, but in, Ooh, because in some there's cases, some traumatic scenes. Oh yeah, and a spoiler alert. There, there's a bunch of stuff we're not we're not telling you guys about. Uh, uh, but but this anime is well worth it. Uh, well worth uh reviewing uh seeing and and putting it in your your queue to to see is uh. As, as a binge-worthy anime, 100%.
Yep. Um, some people say that it's a um, that it's a summary of of um, the year of 2020. Man. But like, how did we, they know that? Maybe they renamed it that or something. How did they know? Man, I have no. <laughs> idea. I mean, this has just been the worst catastrophic. Man, just yeah. a bitch of a year. <laughs> man. <laughs> Yeah, but if we um um um, uh, um but if we liken the year 2020 to the movie Japan sings 2020, even though we're going through a shit storm right now. Yeah, and that's there, that's a great point. There is there is light at the end of the tunnel. Yeah, one hundred percent. Uh, so keep that in mind if you if you watch the movie and you watch this podcast. Tell him Mr. Pie sent you. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. Uh, uh, especially from an otaku standpoint. We, you know, a lot of us are just, a, as of right now, it's like November 5th or whatever. Um, September, uh, September 5th. September 5th. And uh, basically, uh, Dragon Con is going on. And a lot of us, you can just see it in like the groups and various groups. Like, we are dreading the hell out of it, man. It, it, this is like the crescendo of like the idea that, man, con season didn't happen this year. Uh, Dragon Con by far is one of the biggest now uh, for just geek fandom, not yep. just anime, just geek fandom. I mean, you have all types of people doing various uh, cosplays and such. It 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 potentially can become uh, the biggest. It can potentially usurp uh, Comic Con Comic Con uh, as the biggest convention because it's it's just it's it's so amazing. It's 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 so big. That's what uh, that's what that person said. That's what that person said. I'm. So <laughs> Absolutely. Um, the villain was right. Hi there. Fuck you. You want to be a hero? You want to be strong? You want to be smart in school? Don't do any of that because the villain was right. The villain was right. The villain was right. So what? Twenty twenty, by just anything it. with twenty twenty attached to it. Bye. Well, well, more so um, is the villain was right. Do you think we, as a human society, needed twenty twenty uh, to happen to in order to potentially bring us together? Because from a geek and otaku uh, and blurred standpoint, everybody who's talking in the forums, the Reddit groups, the Facebook groups. Uh, uh, retweeting tweets, man, we are going to kill 2021 in a good way. Like, yeah, it's gonna we're gonna appreciate that stuff like never before. Make relationships. Um, yeah. Some of us make consensual love. Uh, uh, all type, all types of stuff. Get Mr. Hope. Pie, see real life anime titty. Yeah, Mr. Pie, uh, man, what meets up with some of his uh, uh, some of the people he follow and. Uh, shake their hands. <laughs> oh man! Uh, who knows? I mean, the possibilities are endless. But uh, but uh, so is the, do you think twenty twenty uh, the and the wake up call and despite yeah. all the death which we which we mourn and 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 feel bad for, uh, ultimately do you think twenty twenty was right and was needed uh, in a sense uh, as far as make possibly giving us an awakening to yeah. appreciating the small things we have. Do you think it was right in that um, regard? Um yeah, like in making I'm like, yeah, like in making us appreciate what we've sort of slightly took advantage of without knowing we took advantage of. Yeah. Because right. before twenty twenty, like you know, like I'm guessing the average person would think, Well, hey, we're America. Right. Nothing bad's happened to us. Man, our cons will be here for since 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 time will end, our cons will always be here. It'll from, never be disrupted. Then boom, twenty twenty happened. Right from a and geek so that, standpoint, absolutely. And so that makes us appreciate it even more. Like um, like a good meal when you haven't eaten. Yeah. Like for forty eight hours. I hear you. I, like, hashtag like, fasting life. Hey, <laughs> hashtag fasting. That's exactly what Mr. Pie is doing. Uh, we we got this Saturday, so I'm about to grill it's for Sunday. the week. It's Sunday. It's Sunday. Why do it feel like Saturday? It's, what's wrong because, with me, Mr. Pie? Because it's Memorial 
Day like it's weekend. Labor Day weekend. It's like Labor I, Day weekend. Um, um, like look at it me as I like mess 30, up. It feels like thirty though. It feels like thirty because Be, because Monday we got week. that extra holiday. It, oh, we got yeah, we, got, we that, got that extra day out. For so. Folks like uh, working, <laughs> killing it. Uh, for other people, you know, uh, it is it is what it is. Tomorrow's like Labor Day, so celebrate being off, basically. Like yeah. Um, in any case, I agree. Um. 2020, 2020 was not uh, warranted and could have been avoided, uh, depending on who, who, who you talk to. But um, in a sense of uh, us finding a greater appreciation. Yeah, greater uh, for, appreciation for things for, for that things, we took advantage of or, without or, knowing. Or, so um, Yeah, I, I would say that, in, in fact. Uh, yeah, it, 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 it was right in that sense. In, in that case, cause because we want to look at the silver lining of things. Then because we always that, assume things will be the same and never really change. Or, or more so, the, the human mind wants to be apathetic. Yeah. The human mind wants to be... Uh, uh, yeah, you know, we want just, to have we, we want that we want that simpleton we simple not simpleton but we want that simple that um, that um simple structure in life oh uh, yeah where it's and like more a, so B, comfortable C. more so like, yeah more so we're always seeking that comfort level stress stress equals to de stress in a sense yeah um uh, a, a stress situation is a, a person in distress in a sense. Yes, uh, and discomfort causes stress. Right, absolutely. But uh, in a sense, that discomfort can make us stronger and better. Yeah. So, so even that is warranted. Yeah, because we're challenging ourselves. We're not complacent absolutely. in our normality. Absolutely. Well, that's perfect. perfectly phrased. Absolutely. So um, in that case, the silver lining, as far as if you want to look at it that way, 2020, uh, the villain was right because... There, 2020 is obviously a villain, 100. percent I saw a shirt. I saw a shirt so cold the other, uh, the other day, and I can't tell you the brand because I think it was just on a whim. But we we got other we got similar things coming. Uh, it had game mode at the top, easy, normal, hard. 2020, 2020. man, that's perfect, man. If that ain't if that ain't perfect, a, a perfect fitting shirt, uh, nothing is. And, and the thing is, it'll be able to go. For general, it'll be able to go like for longer because this year is by far one of the most disruptive years, like yeah, in our lifetimes will be looked upon. It, it will go down in history, like yeah, like as the suckiest. One of the suck, definitely so far the suckiest year of our lifetime as far as uh, a complete disruption uh, as to the way things are. But again, if you want to look at a silver lining, it makes us appreciate things more. Yeah. There, there are uh, sad to say there are opportunities because other. Uh, things are happening where the norm is now torn down, but for people wanting to come up, there are opportunities. And I'm purposely talking vague, but yeah, entrepreneurs. Uh, but who, yeah, but who, basically, as far as creators and entrepreneurs and such, there are opportunity uh, now, uh, and and things can change potentially for the better. Um, I mean, not to mention all the social justice stuff happening, uh, people becoming aware, uh, yeah. especially of our plight and our struggle as African Americans. Uh, that that is a great thing for for the conversations to be happening, uh, at the very least. At the very least, I mean, we we I, I want to do a full episode on on some of that stuff. But, yeah, uh, because certain lives, well, black lives matter now. Black lives matter now, or do they? Do we de- matter? De- depending on who you talk to. Hmm. Like, yeah. <laughs> depending on who you talk to. Now, forget the organization, even just the concept. Yeah, just the concept. De- de- depending on who you talk to. Because my life matters just like your, maybe your life matters. Who knows, man? In any case. Uh, uh, but that's another topic. That's another topic. Japan Seeks 2020. You guys should definitely check it out. Definitely anime of the year can... Um, it's in contention, I like, think. Yeah, I, 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 per, I, I think. Yeah, so. because the more people who watch it, um, they appreciate it. Because at first, because at first, when people started watching it, they were like, mm, "Doom and gloom." Yeah. But the more people who watch it and they <coughs> sort of marinate on it, they're like, "All right, this anime is good. This this anime, mm, I can sink my teeth into it. I'm like, it speaks to me." Yep. All right, guys. So. Um, like and subscribe the video. Like the video and subscribe to our channel, please. We are constantly pushing out content, literally on a daily basis. 
Um, we, yeah, we now have the framework to to push out videos every day, uh, Monday through Friday, and we're gonna keep this going and keep us rolling and diversify. We got plenty of interviews lined up. Um, and we'll see what happens, guys. So support us at bbmerch.com, bebravemerch.com, um, basically. Um, and, and yeah, we're going to keep it rolling. We're looking forward to con season next year. Yep. So definitely. Uh, 2021. 2021. And man. until what? next time, be brave. Be you. <laughs>